if you are itching to get a jump start on the garden season, but it's too cold still, or maybe you're a couple of months out from your last frost date, a hoop house can really help to cure that cabin fever and get you growing earlier than later. I'm gonna get growing in mine today. All right, so this has been closed off. Just a small hoop house here. And uh, this is different from my greenhouse. The greenhouse is where I start my seeds. The hoop house is where I grow indoors uh, during the colder months or under cover so that broccoli, cauliflower, and other brassicas have protection from cabbage moths. Uh, there does have screen windows here and I can open both ends of the tunnel when I need ventilation when it starts to be warmer out. But for now, it's perfect for trying to get a jump start in the growing season. So what I need to do, you can see I've got some vegetation here left over in a few weeds. I'm gonna pull those real quick. And then this has already been amended with compost last uh, fall. It's had plenty of time to work its way into the soil and break down and make those nutrients more readily available for the plant roots. Plant roots. But let me show you uh, two spices you can use to help your plants get settled and go through a little bit less of an attack from uh, insects that are already living here and have been hibernating and are nice and warm over the cold season. Let me show you what I'm up to. So the first thing that I'm doing to prep my site is I'm pulling up unwanted growth. If it's a low grower and it's not gonna choke out plants, it can stay. Cause weeds like that are gonna be a living mulch that are gonna help moisture stay within the soil. But if it's something like a creeping Charlie, those things, they mound and they just choke out any vegetation. Those gotta go. So that's what I'm pulling up. I'm removing stakes from last year. When it comes to pulling up previous growth, such as tomato plants, I snap it at the base. Roots stay in the soil to help that soil food web that's taking place, but the stem can come out or it can be laid on the ground as mulch, especially if you have a lot of pill bugs because they need something to do. They need something to break down. Otherwise they're gonna go after your plants. Okay. The unwelcome growth has been cleared out. I need to now moisten the soil. I wanna do this before I plant because I know that this is so dry, there's likely to be a little bit of runoff in the beginning. Just like when you fill a seed tray and if you were to do it with unmoistened seed starting mix, it would just pool and kind of run off and make a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead, work the soil with some water, and then we'll be ready for my trick amendments and we'll be ready to put the seedlings in. All right, I've got some duck pool water here. Basically a liquid compost. And you can see it running down, which is why we're hydrating the soil first and planting second. Okay, we're ready. The soil has been moistened. Brought a lot of gallons of water here from the duck pool trough area. And you can see how nice and damp that is. Now we're gonna do two things. Number one, it's been cold. And especially in the garden, um, I tend to find voles, mice, and uh, a lot of ants in the early springtime. And they tend to gravitate to the raised beds that are heavily mulched and the hoop house. So I'm gonna add two things uh, while planting my seedlings to the soil. Not necessarily for the health of the seedling or the roots of the plant. It's more about keeping those things away so that they don't eat my salad greens before me. I have two spices with me in the garden today. I have cloves. Cloves deter mice and voles, things that could definitely be found hibernating in the hoop right now. The other thing I have is turmeric or turmeric, depending on how you say it. And I'm using this to keep ants away, but they say that mice and voles hate it too. So by using both of these, I have an insurance policy that my seedlings here are gonna get off to a good start. So what I'm gonna do, this is tatsoi. I'm just creating a small divot. I'm gonna grab a pinch. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. There we go. And I'm gonna sew my seedling right into the uh, divot there. Done. All right, well, I definitely got some yellow stained fingers from that turmeric, but 
Seedlings are in the ground. I'm gonna stop here for today. I'm halfway done. At this point in time, after you water, you could go ahead and add some mulch. I am uh, gonna wait and monitor my, um, my pill bug situation first. So I don't wanna put mulch on just yet, but I absolutely will. And uh, I'll wait and do that after I finish transplanting the rest of the seedlings into the hoop house. If you want an update on how the plants in here are growing, let me know in the comments and I'll try to record one and just uh, keep you aware of what's going on in the hoop. All right, have a good day.